What's good, y'all? It's Jaskeezy. Back with another vid. Right now, it's 2.49 a.m., bro. Hey, the dedication is real. Like, I felt something. I'm like, bro, I got to get up, make this vid, right? It had to be done. Anyway, today, we're going to be talking about your friends, you know, and um, talking about your craft. I don't really know, like, what to title this video. I was going to say, like, like, how to deal with your friends hating on you or I don't know how to deal with, like, loved ones hating on you type thing. But it was kind of relating to, like, how to deal with hate. So I didn't really know if I wanted to make this video. But since I just went through that, uh, it's like, that's what's kind of circled around. So I don't know if I want to name this, like, how to cut off friends or I don't really know what to name this. But, um, damn, I should have thought of, like, a title or some shit. <sighs> Fuck. Well, anyway, right, I'm going to just say how to deal with loved ones or, you know, close people around you hating on you or being negative or whatever right now i'm pretty sure we all have those people you know you could be so close with a person and over time it's like well damn like now i seem like you attacking me like i could have like bro i'd be in this situation so many times it's like i start to like dislike humans bro but don't become like that you know nothing it's like the people that you're just attracting right now once you change something in here but you always gonna have like, bro. You're always gonna have people, you know, negative or hating on you. It's just, it's just gonna happen, bro. If it's not happening, you're not winning. I told y'all that, bro. But it's like, um, sometimes it could actually be what's in here internally, because whatever is in here internally, you will like attract. If you are fucked up internally, you're gonna attract fucked up shit. So it just depends on like. It just all matters on you changing. But let's say, like, you changed or whatever, and you just got niggas hating on you, right? Now, I'm going to give y'all an example. Today or yesterday, I released, like, a snippet. I released, like, music snippets, right? And when it comes to my music, one of my friends, bro, which I don't care if she sees this vid. Not going to lie, she been cut. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But anyway... One of my friends that I used to be friends with in uh middle school, right? Now, she's very iffy on my music, right? It don't be what she says, but the energy that she comes with saying it, if y'all get what I mean. See, a person could be like, oh, that was fire, or... Let's just say, like, it's just, like, some type of hate and comment, right? But it all depends on the energy that's coming with that statement. Like, you could just tell it's a hating nigga. Like, like you could tell when niggas is really hating. Like, niggas would be like, bro, look at your shoes, bro. They're so dirty, all this, right? And they just keep saying insults and shit, right? And then you just see, like, the negativity just come off them, bro. This video should really teach you, like, who to keep around you. Like, I'm that's how I'm going to name this. How to know who should be around you. I don't really know for sure. I'm about to figure out a title for this shit though. But anyway, right? So when it comes to my music, it's always like a laughing topic. You know, it's like, oh, uh, when I fell down the stairs. Yes, bro. I fell down the school stairs. <laughs> I tripped over my foot and I fell down the stairs, right? But listen, everything becomes like once they find out that's what you do, that's your passion. All of a sudden it becomes a laughing topic. That's how you know, bro. Niggas is like niggas is not in support for real. They make it seem like they are for probably benefits, and to be around you to suck your energy dry as fuck. But in reality, they're not in support. So when you know, when uh, I fell down the stairs, right? She found that out, and she was like, "Oh, so were you rapping when you found it on the stairs?" See, it becomes a laughing topic. If you was to do, if you was a nigga with art in this case and you was in my body, bro, she would have said, oh, so you fell down the stairs while doing art. It's just it is what it is, bro. I guess this is how she is. She's low. Like, I think she even said like she was depressed. So it's like, I, like, I kind of expect this, but it's like her energy is like very, um, 
aggressive. Like, you can't even make jokes with her for real. I don't know. It's like she's not the same person that I once knew. In middle school, she used to be a whole different person. Then all of a sudden, she went through some life events, and now she's like, you know, energy draining. And, like, she's not supportive. Like, it just kills your energy. Like, it hurts, bro, because, like, damn, like, we used to be fucking locked in in middle school. It's like, but, bro, look who you turned out to be right now. Like, who the fuck are you, bro? Who are you? And that shit hurts because, like, damn. Like, this used to be, like, one of my niggas. And now it's like, who did you turn out to be? And it just hurts you. And then, like, with loved ones, bro, it'd be, it kind of feel worse. Like, you could probably expect this, like, from friends, but it's like, loved ones? Bro, you're supposed to be caring about me. Bro. I remember when my dad, he found out, like, or he be fine that I be doing shit, and then, like, he always have something to say. Like, when the, when I was on my spiritual type timing, he was like, oh, he would, he would support it, right? Niggas will always support it at first. Well, not always support it at first. I'm gonna just say, like, niggas is gonna throw it, like, oh, yeah, you're doing good. But then, you know, it's always a but. Niggas said, my dad said, bro, you're doing good on the channel, right? Like, you're exposing uh, the government, all this, but you're looking crazy. That, bro, after that butt, no, b- the stuff before the butt never mattered. What he really wanted to say was after the butt. There was more energy on after the butt than before the butt. Yeah, bro, you're doing great. Uh, You're exposing the government, but you looking crazy. You know, it was just like... Man, like, I can never, like, bro, whatever I do is just never enough for niggas, bro. I'm gonna be real. Um, this is why I tell y'all not to, like, impress people because people will never be satisfied, especially if they got, like, a hole or a void within here. They're never gonna be satisfied. You know why, bro? People see what you're doing, and since they see you doing it, and they know they can't go chase or not even go chase because. When you chase the shit's running from you. But they can't go do what they want to do because they got, like, some internal shit blocking them, right? And they probably uh, afraid of getting judged. They like, oh, my gosh, he's doing this, but I can't. And they have a feeling like that you're going to make it. They're going to put you down. Oh, you you look crazy. Oh, this and that, right? So that same friend I was just talking to y'all about, I dropped a snippet today. She goes to say, why are you trolling? Beat goes hard, though, right? And I looked at that. I'm like, what's trolling about this? I sat there and thought to myself, what is trolling about me doing music? And then I think, what is she doing? Passion-wise, nothing. That's the thing with these people, bro. They don't do nothing passion-wise. They work like... They act like regular niggas. She smokes. And she works. Yeah, the regular shit. And she has the nerve to speak on what I do. I'm not you. I read. And listen, start pointing out your qualities. They make you feel like you ain't shit. They point out your passions, be like, maybe this ain't for you, you know, maybe maybe you're just not meant for this, you know, maybe this and that, right? If that's what you truly like doing, look at their life. What do they do? This person that I once knew in middle school smokes and works. What the fuck do you have to tell me about what I do? My dad smokes, drinks beer. Hates on his kids and goes to work. What the fuck do you have to tell me about what I do? They don't. They can't tell you shit. They can't. It's like Kanye West. You can't tell me nothing. You know why? Because you're not where I want to be. I don't want to be y'all niggas, bro. I don't want to be a regular nigga. That's not me. 
niggas is going to hate, bro. And the last video was for niggas that was hating online or niggas that you don't know, strangers. This is for people that, you know, you know, but uh, you're aware of them. Or This is for people that you know that is close around you. This is, this is how you know that you should cut niggas off. This is like your deadline. Like, like this is like how you know you should cut niggas off. Because, bro, ain't no way your friend or your loved one should be hating on you. Making jokes about what you love doing. Nothing is a joke about that shit. If anything, they should be trying to get you new opportunities, bro. And it's like, when they see you profiting off of those new experiences, or what's when they see you profiting off your passion, all of a sudden they want to hop on and be like, yo, like I've been there for you from the start. All this, all that. But there was the same niggas that was saying, oh, you sure you want to do this? Oh, um, bro this ain't for you you're not doing this right and all this all that right niggas is talking that's it bro all niggas do is talk that's it the niggas is niggas is living regular lives bro and you out here trying to do something you know something like not many niggas is doing and it low key will hurt bro. I'm, low, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this bro it low key will hurt you know, seeing this person that you once knew be, you know, be cool with you at first until they recognize that you're not trying to be a regular nigga. And now all of a sudden, uh, they just get out this, they become in this different phase and they start attacking you. It hurts at first because like, bro, why would you attack me? You're supposed to support. Like, I thought like, you know. You just you just be thinking to yourself, like, what did I do wrong? In reality, it's nothing that you did, bro. It's something that they did. Now, with me in this case and this girl, I was not the best friend in middle school. Like, I was kind of a fucked up friend. Some aspects of me have been cool, but other aspects was, like, kind of weird. Just because, like, I had a lot of insecurities. And I didn't really know how, like, how to figure that out. I was going through a lot of family issues. And I, you know, filled that void with you know, taking, like, my, my friends, girls, and shit, it wasn't, like, it wasn't thorough, I'm gonna be real with y'all, it wasn't thorough at all, and then low-key, when I express this on the camera, it hurts, because it's like, damn, if only I was aware of this shit, like, then, I didn't really know, like, how to handle this shit back then, bro, damn, and if my friends was like really catching on to the signs, they would have left me a long time ago. I'm be real with y'all, cause you know that shit is not thorough. Damn. But anyway, this is just to say like, not everyone, whether it's bro, I have I have more strangers supporting me than you know these friends or loved ones i'm gonna be real with y'all actually i'm gonna just say friends because these are the niggas that i see in like um school type shit and you got some people that will support me in school like i see niggas all the time uh are you are you like this girl one time she was like are you produced for my cousin i'm like hey that was a lit experience you got my nigga creighton he actually loves the music type shit right uh like these, like these are experiences that warm my heart, and you got niggas like, um, that say they fuck with me, but yet they say, oh yeah, you just create shit music, and all this, right? So it's like niggas will try to craft you into who they want you to be, whatever they want you to be, don't become it. Become what you want to be, bro. Cause this is your life. They have their life, and they probably living like a regular ass nigga. You want to live like a, a mafia boss or something. I don't know what your dream is, but, you know, you want to go do some shit with your life. You trying to change this fucking world. Them niggas is trying to work in the economy forever and what's called get high and drunk off their pain. We're not the same. That's tough. So it's like, you know, but you don't don't be hurt by it, bro. It don't mean shit. It's just going to probably like make you think a lot about who you were surrounding by. So, um, yeah, bruh, not gonna lie, this experience kind of hurt me because it's like, you know, I know I wasn't the best 
person I could have been, but it's like, damn, like, I guess it is what it is, bro. Maybe that could have affected her on why she is the way she is now, but at the same time, it's like, you don't let another person's actions dictate um, your future becoming. You know, you don't let a person's actions now dictate who you are becoming. It's like, that's like victim mind shit, and that makes, what's called, that's like a slave mindset type thing, because like, why would you let somebody make you into something that you never wanted to become, you know? But anyway... That's the end of the vid. I still don't know I'm going to name this vid, but I'm going to come up with it by the time it's like, what, like, by the time I end this shit. So, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, share, and with that, with that, with that fact, Joskeezy, out.